All right, we're going to be uh, looking at graphing systems of inequalities in this lesson. And uh, a lot of the principles that you already have uh, are going to apply as far as solving uh, an inequality. You know, we got to solve an inequality for y before, uh, before we graph it. So we're going to be trying to get y by itself. This topic inequality here, uh, we already see how to graph it. It's uh, y e is greater than or equal to uh, x minus 8. So we're going to go down 8. Uh, this graph only goes down seven, so I guess down eight is probably something like that. But then it's got a slope of up one over one, and it's going to be a dotted line because it's uh, the inequality doesn't have uh, anything under there. So it's just going to be a dotted line, and I'm just going to draw this dotted line here. That's got a slope of one. I'll do the best I can. I don't have a ruler tool, at least not one that I'm comfortable with. So there's that. And then we got to shade it. Uh, this one says y is greater than, which means we're going to be shading uh, on the top of that line. And I guess I could just, you know, put something there to remind me where I'm going to shade that line. Let's take this bottom inequality, this 2x plus 4y less than 16. It's going to take two steps. We got to get y by itself. So we can't really graph the inequality. We could, but we got to make sure which side we're shading. So I'll take away the 2x on, on both sides, and that's going to give me 4y less than negative 2x plus 16. And then, of course, our last step is just to get rid of the 4. Got to divide all three terms. I didn't divide by a negative, so I don't have to do anything to the symbol. It's just y is less than, and uh, that's kind of a messy y, but y is less than, and then this is going to be negative 1 half x, and that's a plus 4. So we're going to graph that one. We're going to go up 4 and make a dot. And then after we have gone up uh, 4, we've got a negative 1 half slope. So we're going to be coming downhill, uh, down 1 and over 2 is our slope. So there's that. It's a dotted line also because it's not underlined. And when I draw this particular dotted line, now we got to figure out which side to shade on. Uh, that says shade underneath. So it's going to be shading here. And we're looking for the area they have in common. And they really have this whole thing in common. So all this is going to be part of our solution. Now, one of the things, it's cool, it turned green. One of the things that you're going to be asked to do is to identify a point that is a solution. So we could find that lots of ways. Uh, one way is just to pick anything here in the shaded region. For example, that point right there is a part of the solution, and that would be uh, right one and then down one. So we could say this, one comma negative one is a solution because it's in the shaded area. There, any of these points, any of the points ordered pairs in there would work. And sometimes we're asked, identify something that's not a solution. Well, something that's not in the common shaded area, like that point right there, that would be four, four. Four, four is not a solution. And that's as much as we got to do. And that's a little bit of review there. But let's take a look at one of the word problems. This is going to be where it gets a little tricky. Uh, this is going to be a uh, new material uh, for us. Let's take a look. It says John has to buy uh, two different kinds of rope. He's got rope A and he's got rope B. And so if I identify rope A, rope A is down here and that's on the X axis. So X is going to be rope a, which means y is going to be rope B. I guess I should make that look a little better, huh? Rope B. So the next thing I need to identify is now that I've got my variables, uh, I know that rope A is 60 cents a foot. So that means that I pay 60 cents for every uh, a foot that I buy, an A is uh, X, so I'm going to go 0 0.60X, that's 60 cents times however much I get of X, and rope B is 90 cents a foot, uh, that's going to be 0 0.90Y, and it tells me uh, that he can't spend any more than, no more than $18, so I got to spend less than 
$18, but it says I can spend no more than, which means I could spend $18, and so that means that this is gonna have to be underlined. And so there's the inequality that we're gonna use um, for one line. Now the other line is really simple. It says John needs to buy 15 feet of rope, and every inequality system is usually like this, where uh, I'm gonna buy some of A and I'm gonna buy some of B, and it's gotta be at least 15, so we just gotta write it correctly. So I'm gonna buy some of X, that's rope A, and I'm gonna buy some of Y, that's rope B, and it's gotta be at least 15 feet. So it could be more, I could buy as much as I need, um, but it's gotta be at least 15 feet. So it's gotta be equal to, but it could be more, right? So it could be 16 or 17 or 18 feet, all those are possible. The question is how many of each of these different types of ropes could I possibly buy? And that's only gonna come through uh, when we're done shading. Let's graph the first one. Uh, X plus Y is uh, is greater than or equal to 15. I'm just gonna graph it using intercepts because everything here is positive. Um, it's gonna, or I, I guess I, I could go the same route and let's take away X on both sides. What are we gonna get? Y is greater than or equal to negative X plus 15. So let's go ahead and graph that. Starts at 15, there is 15 right there. And it's gonna go down one over one. Now you gotta be careful. This is counting by twos on the y-axis, but I'm just gonna, you know, you could go down one. It's counting by twos on the x-axis too. So I could go down one over one and it would be there. And I could go down one over one and it would be there. And down one over one, it would be there. These are all the possible ways I can buy 15 feet of rope. And it's gonna end on the x-axis. What if I bought 15 feet of just rope A? So this right here is a solid line and I'm gonna do my best to make something that looks straight. That's pretty good. It's uh, underlined, I've got, you know, it had to be more than, right? So we had to buy more than 15 feet. So of course I could have bought 15 feet of rope B or just 15 feet of rope A or any one of these combinations. Um, let me just identify something here. Uh, this, this combination right there would say buy 10 feet of rope B and then five feet of rope A. So that would be 15 feet. All we had to do is be above that. So we're talking about all these points here that are above the line. Now let's go graph that other one. Um, this would probably be easier to do with intercepts, but uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and, and, and solve it for, for y. So I'm going to take away 0.60x on both sides, and I'm going to actually have to transfer this equation over here to the right side. So it's going to be 0.90y is less than or equal to negative 0.60x plus 18. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide by 0.9. It's really not that big a deal. Um, you could put 90 if you want, 0.90. Now I know nine goes into 18 too, so 0.9 is gonna go into 18 20 times, so the y-intercept is 20. Uh, these are gonna go away and I'm gonna get y is less than or equal to, because I didn't divide by a negative. And six over nine is two thirds. So 60 over 90 is two thirds. It's a negative slope. So it's down two over three. I mean, it's, it's really pretty basic as far as that goes. So let's graph this one. It starts at 20. And because the axis here is going twos, they're going down by, down by two, and these are going over by two. So everything is just the same. I'm just gonna count squares, down two over three. So down one, two, three, and then, or down two, one, two, and then over three is, is right there, down two and over three. These are the points I'm looking at, down two over three, down two over three, and that's gonna be a solid line. And remember, this was the limit on cost. So these were all of the combinations that cost $18. I just need it to be less. So the possibilities that get me more than 15 feet that cost less than $18 are all those possible combinations. So if we had to pick one, um, I'm just going to pick this one. Uh, if I were to pick one, it says, show and describe all the combinations. Well, the shaded area is all the combinations. One possible combination would be this. Get 14 feet of rope A. And that, that right there would be 6 feet of rope B. Uh, that meets the, the criteria. I have 20 feet of rope, which was at least 15, so I'm okay there. And 14 feet of rope A... Uh, 14 times 0.60 and uh, 6 times 0.90. Well, 6 times 0.90 is $5.40. Uh, 14 times 0.60 
uh, 0 0.60 times 14 is uh, $8.40. So 840 plus 540 is certainly under $18. So there we are. We're good to go.